So today the storybook and the artist studio kit came out. I will say I couldn't find the kits at 1 p.m. I had to literally search up the name just to download them and add them to my cart, so that's weird. Welcome to the Sims 4 Artist Studio Kit and Artist Tools. Give your Sims more ways to express their creativity. There's a new easel, tablet, and woodworking table for Sims to use in their artistic endeavors. Place inspiring still life forever since a backdrop and other props to help your creativity flow. Artful decor. Add an artful flourish to your canvas in your studio. Add paint splatter to the ground and clutter items like palettes, cans, tubes, brushes, and stacked sketchbooks to every shelf and corner. Ooh, that sounds fun. I'm really excited for the artist studio kit. I feel like I'm going to use that one maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure if the storybook one is my style. It says, a touch of whimsy. Inspired by classic fairy tale and the elegance of ages past, this collection features delicacy, crafted toys, pleasant wallpaper, a dreamy mobile and a dollhouse modeled after the traditional home of an old prominent family. A legacy of elegance. Raise your little ones among ornate furniture including shelves and a changing table. Some of these items like the crib with the sweeping canopy and the tasteful chandelier may have been passed down through the generations. I think I want to start off with the artist studio kit. So we have this beautiful little step ladder with clutter and oh my gosh this is perfect. I wanted like more pink clutter in the sims 4 like for a while because like all you we have is like the base game stuff which are things you have to unlock but this looks so good like the paint on it so I'm glad they have clean versions but they also have like the dirty versions as well that is pretty nice and then we have this storage savvy smock wrap so this item has like a little apron it has like some paint tubes oh this is nice and I assume they have like yes the dirty versions as well so that looks really good like all the wood tones look pretty good um I really like the yellow one. Yellow is my favorite color so of course. Then we have the ready set go cart. Is it supposed to be like ga? Ready set ga. I don't know. This is pretty nice. Pretty simple nice clutter. Um, Also has like the dirty swatches as well and the clean swatches. Then we have a storage locker and the same with this item it has clean versions and dirty versions so that is nice. Like this could actually just you know be used for other stuff. Like you could put this in the high school as like like maybe just a cabinet you know because it's not outright like just paint stuff so this is the companion cabinet and the swatches so it looks like it also has the dirty swatches as well which I love that is pretty good so yeah just more paint supplies I I'm so ready to build with this kit okay so then we have the rolling drying rack so this looks pretty nice as well oh this would have been so good as like a desk I don't know like something about this part but obviously you couldn't really scoot into it but if you just didn't have the shelves at the bottom it would have been like a really good desk but yeah they also have like the dirty swatches as well which is nice and all the same wood colors so then we have the anything service pedestal oh so you can like snap stuff to it that is nice okay so it has clutter that's nice and it also has like some dirty swatches as well that is so cute like that's really nice i like the clutter items on this next up we have the improvised studio pedestal oh so i'm assuming you can also yes you can also put stuff on there so it also comes in like a dirty swatch that's nice the yellow the white and then we have the notorious slop seat so this is honestly perfect for an art room just so you can like wash up like this is only a sink to wash your hands but yeah that's cute and they also have like the dirty swatch and then we have the creative pro tablet so obviously you can paint with this just like the digitalistic sketch pad and this is just like a new version with more colors and it's 800 simoleons but then we have our craftmatic woodworking table 2.0 this is so more usable i feel the base game one there's only one and it's ugly in my opinion like i feel like it only fits in garages and i don't usually have a garage in my sims home again like the dirty swatch like this is perfect i probably will give this color to my not so very sunny sim because it's just so cute i love that and then we have our new easel which is nice it costs 1000 125 simoleons. I was not expecting it to cost that much. Wow, so yeah, this one is gonna take you a little bit to save. But yeah, it has the dirty swatch as well. That's pretty nice. Not the yellow color though. Well, this is cute. I love this one actually. It just looks so much better because it has like paint tubes on it. It has like the brush, whereas the other ones, they're just an easel with nothing on them. Oh my gosh, so now we have this flower. This is actually cute. Oh my gosh, the petals that 
has fallen off the vases crack i want pottery in the sims this is all this is making me think of i'm thinking they made this vase that would have been so cute then we have the sketches and studies of studies um so these are just sketches there's only four swatches but this looks so good oh i love this one i love that then we have this torso in repose um it comes in a few swatches as you would expect which is nice i guess and then we have this collection of sketchbooks which again oh this is gonna be like so good to just put on your desk like this does not have to be used just for an art studio this is just like some very nice clutter and then we have the discounted paint can this costs 90 simoleons so it's very affordable just for clutter obviously i love it it's very cute i like the colors i don't know if i'm doing a good job at showing these off because like this is my first overview so i'm very sorry then we have the painter's palette oh yes like we really needed something like this because we just don't have this in the sims at all like i'm gonna use this all the time and then we have the odds and ends brush storage so this is just like a bunch of brushes that's nice i can actually have a full art studio room like that's amazing so it comes in like all of these swatches pretty good and then we have the accidental paint splatter so this is obviously just a rug it's nice because you can actually put it on like a wood floor instead of having like a tarp over it it can just be like on the wood floor which is kind of awful but it could be on a concrete floor it doesn't have to be wood but any floor pretty much that is like flat it would probably look weird if you put it on carpet like that doesn't look right that's not it's going to be like mixed into the carpet and if we look at the swatches ooh, like someone stepped in it you can see like the footprints then we have this one we have this one oh this one you can kind of not see on the concrete which is probably good honestly and then we have like the white marks i like this then we have this picture so i assume this is something they made just so like you can paint it from reference again with like the cracked vase you can't tell me a pottery stuff pack is not going to come out soon and then we have the studio drape backdrop oh that is so cute i love this like it looks really good so let's look at the swatches i do love the yellow already but it comes like in blue orange beige black white pretty good colors okay last but not least we have this industrial spotlight oh this is a nice lamp this is a very nice lamp we have the yellow oh the dirty swatch that is so good i wasn't expecting that but that's honestly so nice obviously if you don't like play with a lot of sims who paint maybe this kit is not for you but i'm in love with it like obviously the whole goal of this kit is to bring you more art clutter and etc but i would say there's like a few objects that could be used outside of that for example like these sketches your sim doesn't really need to be a painter to use these and also the same with like the sketchbooks your sims does not need to be a painter these could just be school books and yeah i don't know i really like this kit like i'm a huge fan it looks so good but we're gonna unfortunately bulldoze everything and look at the storybook nursery kit now okay so it looks like all of the items are set in black which honestly is good because you know your eyes will catch it so we have this beautiful bows the bassinet the sims collab with six mcc to make this kit it's very nice i like the swatches like the pink is adorable i love the pink also i love the yellow of course and then we have a toddler bed in those same swatches i assume so yes oh my gosh the purple it has a very beautiful pattern on it i love that pattern and then they also have like the plain swatches like this is perfect i love the pink and i'm glad that not all of them are patterns because i feel like that would be very hard to use it just makes it a little bit more fancier i mean the bed is already fancy if we're being honest so the bassinet costs 150 simoleons just like the other bassinets the toddler bed is 250 and then we have an infant crib for 250 as well and again it comes in the same swatches oh i love this kit honestly this is just so cute the rocking chair with the pillow the blanket this is really giving fancy and i'm here for it even though it's not my style then we have this lavish ones nightstand it looks like it comes in the same swatches as well so that's really good and also can we just say like they gave us purple finally i feel like we don't get that much purple stuff and then we have this shelf so it has like tissues so this is the swatches on them we have that purple the pink the white with the gold the beige with the silver the beige with the gold the yellow the blue all those nice swatches 
and then we have this clothing rack so it has like a little diaper bag right there that's nice very beautiful i love the swatches on this but yeah this is just so nice and then we have the dreamers drapes these curtains look so good already and it also has like the pattern on it so that's nice and yeah we have the blue and yellow the pink and blue all those nice oh yellow i love the yellow so much like it's a really good yellow swatch and then we have this mobile so it looks like clouds and like a air balloon a hot air balloon and yeah pretty the green is nice i didn't even realize there was like green swatches i was too focused on the yellow then we have this memorable milestone frame and i'm already gonna tell you that i am not a fan when they do this just because like whose baby is that my baby doesn't look like that like i don't know i just don't like it like sure I guess we can pretend, but I just rather have these as frames that I can stick photos in so that way it's actually my child. But we have a photo frame of random babies and if you want to use the purple swatch, hopefully your baby looks like that. Anyways, we have the essential diaper bag. It has like the little bottle on the ground. So here are all the swatches. We have the red, we have the green with the pattern, we have the white, the blue, the pink, but not the yellow. I guess they forgot about the yellow. Anyways. Then we have the plush nap time rug so it comes in those same patterns so it looks cute like this one is cute it has like the elephant the giraffe oh my gosh the animal print is like so beautiful like look at this we have a parrot a penguin a lion oh the floral swatch is good as well okay that's nice and then we have the clowntastic canopy that's an interesting name clowntastic but i assume yeah like this will match like the bed and stuff which is pretty cute i love that that's just adorable and then we have this friendly fur friends plush very cute it has eight swatches which is nice i love it oh the fox i love that and then we have the wagon awares i'm not gonna lie so like i assumed this would be like a toy box i don't know why it's not a toy box because it just says environment one like what do the other toy boxes say yeah the other one says like supports children so I guess it's not a toy box, which is very upsetting a little bit, but it's fine. Anyways, these are the swatches. So it looks like it comes in all the same swatches, which is nice. We have like the purple, that's cute. And it looks like I probably missed some things down here. So we have a lamp. Ooh, it's a llama lamp. Okay, so again, like with the fancy pattern, we have like the dark purple and just the rest of the colors. So like the beautiful yellow one. And then we have the lavish ones changing table so as you can see it has the same pattern as the rest of them the purple is so cute um i love the colors on this Ooh, so we have blue and yellow and yellow and blue that's nice very simple that's cute it has some clutter at the bottom and then we have these antique blocks so this is functional just like the base game ones oh i can't use the tool on them okay well i can press the plus button to show you all of the swatches so that's very much easier but we also have a little play mat and it says supports infants and I am curious to see like does this work even if you just have base game or is it just decorative but it comes in all those cute little patterns and swatches the blue and yellow the pink the green the beige the gray and then we have the okay so this is the toy box this is the toy box i mean i would have liked if this was the toy box i know it just has like stuffies in it and a sky maybe that's a flag maybe maybe that's a flag i don't think children should be reaping anyways this is the toy box it comes in all those nice colors very cute the yellow is nice like with the flowers oh that's so nice look at that and a dollhouse of course a very huge dollhouse so yeah this is probably i feel like this is supposed to be the goss house not that they have like graves in the side yard but this is the front of it that's so cute like that's cute besides the graves i don't know about the graves and then we have this beautiful chandelier so it comes in like a red a green the gold pink all those cute colors oh i didn't notice we had this but there are clothes you can hang on this little clothing rack which makes sense so we have like a little onesie that's so cute okay last but not least we also have the story time bookcase and it's 1745 simoleons wow that is expensive i feel like 
like all of this stuff is supposed oh my gosh the dollhouse is 1800 again all the furniture looks very expensive so i feel like it makes sense but wow that is a lot of money oh is that bella i mean that looks like her doesn't it we have like the pink swatch the blue swatch all the good swatches in here pretty simple i forgot about the wallpaper how could i forget about the wallpaper that's bad but like we have a ufo we have hot air balloons we have a bridge sailboats basically the whole town honestly this is an interesting wallpaper they don't seem very colorful obviously but that's fine honestly the gray swatch is very good for the gray gen of not so berry just because it has something going on and it's not so plain and i also think there's a wallpaper for the artist studio kit that i forgot to show you so that is my bad yeah this is the wallpaper so it has like little messages on it so that's interesting i wonder if they have like a plain swatch no i think all of them has the message but but yeah this is like all the swatches that it comes in very decent very much made for an artist room or maybe a room that's in progress and also i just want to check the trash cans are supposed to slot to them this one does not slot which is fine i kind of find it annoying where they slot usually like the trash can slots in the middle of it so like if i had this against the wall like the trash can is just poking out and the only trash can that like slots to the back is the money trash can so this one does not slot so i think that's fine it's not really a big deal because i usually just alt place them well i just got this pop-up um soon reaper's rewards that was kind of scary it takes up the whole screen they don't usually do that do they and also like the store page looks different but yeah i just want to make sure i didn't like miss anything from each pack so the storybook nursery kit has 25 items and the artist studio kit has 24 items but now i'm just going to exit the game and enter with only base game but i'm going to go into create a sim and basically give this woman a child and we should be good to go right so i can put rebecca down here and obviously since this is base game she can already sit up but she can look at the toys play with the toys and try to go to sleep so that is honestly good but i did want to see if they could at least play with the toys and they can so that's pretty good and she should be able to play with rebecca she can that is pretty nice and then obviously this works as well because it's just a changing table i should probably end my video here i'm very sorry if it's not good this is like my first official overview video i guess i don't think i really ever done this before so i'm gonna end it here and yeah let me know in the comments what you think about these kits like do you like them are they your style will you use them for me i'll probably use the artist kit more than the storybook kit just because like i feel like with the type of homes i make at least maybe they're a little out of place like i don't really make fancy homes like all of this stuff is pretty expensive and fancy so i feel like i I just wouldn't use it and yeah i'm just gonna leave it here with my sim painting and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and let me know if you like videos like this because i don't usually make videos like this on my channel as i said this is my first time but yeah i love you you are important and i will see you guys soon bye